Nothing stupid. You left roadies before Johnny showed up, and you almost got on that plane to London. And if you had, Johnny and you wouldn't have hooked up, and there wouldn't be a bun in the oven. Hi. Hi. He made it. <laughs> There's no way I was missing this. Oh. Oh. When do we see the doc? Oh, we've got plenty of time. All right, I can take a hint. Really? Since when? <laughs> I hit you a little harder, but you're making me a grandma again. Now, listen, you take good care of her. Mm. And you watch out for her mood swings. Is this about mood swings? Doing this worrying all the time. What do you want, some kid that's afraid of his own shadow? That's not us. That's not our kid, is it? I mean, actually, I was, just, I was just worried that he was going to cross crime scene tape and tail suspects at the playground, so, you know. Hey, look at me. Let me say I make you a deal. You try to make this the happiest nine months of our lives, and I'll do the worrying for all three of us. Have a look at this kid. Okay. <laughs> you know, I thought I knew what I was looking at when the doc showed us, but it sure does look different on paper. You know, that bright spot, it's like a shining star in a dark night. That's our kid. No, not even. Well, something's bothering you about this case. What do you think there, Junior? Think Daddy's gonna hit a dead end, or you think he's onto something? What? Come on, you and me, our kid's gonna make law enforcement history. Let's just hope he's on the right side. She will be. She? You mean little Hondo Junior is a sheep? Okay, now? we were talking about Elijah Clark. You know, kiddo, your dad keeps making these baseball references ever since I got pregnant. I'm thinking he might really want you to know all about this awful game. So you were saying that you're, you're off base. I got no chance of winning this, do I? No, mm -hmm. no. Blair confronts Eli, and then they get into an argument, and Eli tries to get the gun away from Blair. had police training. So Eli could have taken that gun anytime he wanted to. But he didn't. He let himself get shot. Have to make sure the evidence doesn't get corrupted, we're gonna have to take it to Tahiti ourselves and compare it against the body that they think is Eli's. That sounds like a plan, but um, we aren't going to Tahiti. Excuse me? You're not going anywhere. You know what? I think I can manage. You want to just manage with Eli's case? You're pregnant. You shouldn't be flying anywhere. Pregnant women fly all the time in their second trimester. What if something happens down there? They have doctors in Tahiti. I thought you said you didn't trust them. I don't trust the police, which I seriously doubt they're going to be handling the ob emergencies. It's not worth the risk, okay? There isn't... What risk? John, I mean, I'm pregnant. I'm not an invalid. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe I'm being overprotective. I just don't think that you need to be... reckless. Me? Okay. What's that? What's okay what? I will stay at home for your sake. You sure? Yeah. I mean, I do think you're being a little overprotective, but now I understand why. And it means a lot that you care so much. So, you don't have to worry. Baby comes first. <sighs> yeah. To rush the DNA results. What? I'm eating for two. Okay, well, that reminds me. I'm gonna need to go to Tahiti again to get some DNA off that charred body. We talked about this, John. I don't like leaving you. Don't worry about me. You know what? If you're right and Eli Clark is alive, we need to find out as soon as possible before he or Ross hurts anyone else. The lab put a rush on the envelope. 
that I got from the palace. You heard back? Yep, just got a text. Clark's DNA is in. So we can prove he's alive? Yep, all you need to do is get some DNA from that body in Tahiti, and if the PPD gives you another song and dance about how they can't get any, they're full of it. Can I quote you on that? Well, feel free, because I can get DNA from a burnt body easy. Clark must have paid them off. Hmm. Here. What's this? Is, uh, is Junior working the case, too? <laughs> well, I thought maybe you want, want to take it with you to Tahiti. I definitely would, if I was gone. John, we, we talked about this. You don't have to worry about me or the baby. We're going to be just fine. You're right about that. What if we can't prove that the dead body is not his? Or well, this. What is this? That is Clark's wedding band. The police took it off the body and they gave it to Blair. So Clark must have put it on the body and then put the body in the burning house. So the body's DNA would have to be on it. And if that doesn't match the DNA that is on the envelope that is Clark's... It means that Clark is still alive. So, um, what do you think? Can you get the DNA off the ring? The evidence back. As far as I know. So, what, well, what did you say when you asked for it? I said something about standard procedure when a body's found outside the jurisdiction. And she bought it? Well, yeah, I thought it was better than telling her that Clark may still be out there. Yeah, it sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. So what's the verdict? You can still get some DNA off the ring? Let's go, detective. Where to? We are going to the lab, because you're in luck. I can get all the evidence you need off of this. You want to leave the lucky slippers behind? Come on, change in the car. Thank you. Take it easy. Oh, I'm fine. John, I'm fine. You're not I'm fine. Serious. That's why did you wobble in the in the lab then if you were fine? Just these shoes. I told you they're killing me. I just need to change them. Right, let's get the shoes off then. Easy, <sighs> easy. All right? I'll get you a full analysis before you before you kiss me. Oh. That's it. You are grounded. <sighs> Excuse me, you need the DNA. Report. Yes, and that's why I'll be checking with the lab techs who are working on it. What am I supposed to do? Just sit around and watch? No. That's my job. So I can make sure that you are taking a nap. <laughs> okay, a nap. Yeah, a nap. What's so funny about naps, huh? Have you ever seen me take a nap? Yeah, well, there's a there's a first time for everything, right? Yes, a first, when our child won't take a nap and I have to set an example. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. How about you humor me, all right? Give it a shot. Fine. Come on. I will lie down, but I, I'm not going to sleep. I'm staying awake until that DNA report comes in. And I will not sleep until I know if Clark is dead or alive. All right. Okay. That's good work. Keep me posted. <sighs> I wasn't sleeping. Oh, no, of course not. Remind me why I love working here. Did you take your vitamins? Yes, Daddy, we took our vitamins. Come on, man, you no will you? Yeah, get out of here. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> he's on his way. Well, you tell Price he better have your back or he's gonna have to answer to me. For the record, okay? There are more, no more seats on this flight, okay? So in case you were thinking that you would come on the plane or maybe check yourself on his baggage, I, for, no, forget I'm about not, it. I'm forget. just going to stay put, okay? But my cell phone will be on, so if you need any forensics or any tracking... Oh, just take care of yourself. Take care of the kid. Oh, you take care of yourself. Eli's dangerous. I'll see you soon. Call me sooner.